Hey yo, how are you? You alright? Hopefully you've been alright and I hope you've been productive. But maybe you haven't been so good. Maybe things haven't been alright. You've had kind of a tough day, kind of a bad day. But you don't want things to stay the way they are now. You want things to change. And there is a way that I can show you how literally just by being consistent can lead to you being really confident. And it's by something known as the winner's effect. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. So when you get momentum, momentum is something that you get when you are consistently achieving the goals that you've set for yourself, when you're consistently accomplish something that you're doing and you're consistently getting results, that's when you start to get this momentum, you start to build up this momentum. This is known as the winner's effect, this momentum that you get. And people do this by the Kaizen method, which is where you improve 1% of something every single day. But how this winner's effect actually gives you confidence is by, well, the momentum. So if you put it into like an actual example, if you go cold approach a girl right now, uh, cold approaching is where basically you go talk to that random girl that you find attractive in like the coffee place or like in that random stranger, right? You just go talk to her and ask her out or like ask for a number. Imagine cold approaching a girl, right? And it goes well and then going to another place and cold approaching a different girl right after. Are you going to be more confident? Is that going to go easier? Yeah, of course, because you've did it already you've got that momentum built up already so it's a lot easier and you're a lot more confident this is the winner's effect so how you can actually use this winner's effect and actually keep on top of it so you're confident is when you've set off like you've set big goals for yourself those three giant end of year goals like maybe it's to get shredded to eat healthy or like whatever it is don't just do that on your self-improvement journey, right? On self-improvement, set up little goals to tick off throughout the month on self-improvement. So for example, got to cold approach one girl every single day. Okay, in this month, I wanna start working workout like four times this week instead of three times this week. I wanna go to the gym four times instead. All right, they've done that, tick that off. Oh, I managed to bench more this time. I've managed to actually increase my strength I can bench more. Set yourself little tasks, little goals for yourself throughout the month on self-improvement that you can tick off so that you keep, you're consistently getting results and then you'll be in this winner's effect and you'll be really confident in yourself because of all this momentum that you've built. And the thing is, it doesn't just work for like the things that you achieved. It also works for things that you maybe didn't do so well on. So say for example, the guy who's been rejected 50 times compared to the guy who's been rejected two times, the guy who's been rejected 50 times is gonna be way more confident to go ask another girl out because he knows what rejection feels like. He knows that it's not that big a deal. He's already built up that momentum. He's already confident and he's actually got more experience behind it. And yeah, the guy who's been rejected 50 times, he's been rejected 50 times, but he's probably gone out with a lot more girls than the guy who's only been rejected twice because he's probably asked a lot more. If you like this video and this video helped you out, click on the one in the corner because this could definitely help you out and change your life as well. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. You know what time it is? Self-improvement kiss. Mwah. Also, I love this hat. Uh, Dewam Asian, hells yeah.